Hey, good morning, more Medic One. Today I have a Easy Go electric golf cart on the bench. As you can tell, this is where the front wheels uh, mount. Here's your hub, and this is where your kingpin goes. But you, as you can tell, it is dry as a bone down in there because this kingpin assembly hub, uh, the uh, the knuckle is not greasable. So what I do is I take a 1 8 inch drill bit and I go in here and they've already punched a, a, a hole that's not tapped, but the hole doesn't go all the way through to the inside of here. So I'm going to take a 1 8 inch drill bit and I'm going to go ahead and finish drilling through this knuckle. Alrighty guys, I've got a uh, chucked up in my drill on very slow speed to where I can work it back and forth. We're going to tap this hole to accept a greaser, which is a, uh, a quarter 28 thread pitch. So just go ahead and start your tap. Should be plenty deep enough right there. So go ahead and thread in a new Zerk. You don't have to kill it, just make sure it's snug. And what I would do is I would go down in here with a wire uh, cylindrical style brush and just clean all the rust out of there. So when you go back together with it, and uh, now you can, you'll be able to grease your kingpin. The only thing that you might need to do is uh, you need to make sure that the greaser doesn't uh, poke through, but it should be enough meat right here to where it doesn't do that if it does then you may have to uh, shave your grease irk off or even put a uh, a washer behind it to help it stand off just a little bit just uh, check your king pin for fitment make sure you don't have any issues it should just slide right in Alrighty guys, we got the front end to where we can service it and grease it, but you're probably wondering more medic Why is the uh, steering sector the the rack and pinion? Why did you leave that on there? Well, it's broke and let me show you the carnage That has happened to this cart. This is just me being nice putting this stuff in there, but uh, Hold on just a second check this out the story I got was that the guy was driving the cart and instead of going around the facility to where it might take him another minute minute and a half ride time he was driving it down and up flights of stairs and that's not good I want to show you the damage that has sustained 
to this uh, front of this cart. As you can tell, the steering rack is broken. It's gonna have to have a new one. However, the front clip on this thing is bent where this rack mounts. It's got a big hump right here. But check this out right here. See how nice and straight this is? I'm gonna try to come over here at an angle show you look at the outboard or the passenger side uh, king pin bracket that sucker is twisted bent right here this whole assembly is just canted like this and whenever uh, the customer was driving it the wheel was just caved in it's it's just ridiculous this whole front clip is going to have to be replaced Guys, I'm seeing lots and lots and lots of abuse on my equipment that I service. And it's just, it has to be a lot of it's not knowing how to operate the equipment or whether it's that or purity laziness. Anyway, guys, we got the front clip off of the golf cart and we have the, uh, the front axles, spindles to where we can service it, like I said earlier. Anyway, guys, hope you all have a good rest of the week and uh, comment below and let me know if uh, you have customers that just absolutely obliterate their machines and, oh, I don't know what happened to it. I was just driving it and it broke. Well, this guy had a witness to that saw him flying up and down a flight of stairs on this golf cart and guys and gals you just can't do that and expect it to live anyway have a great day more medic one